All right, uh, we can continue and go on, but I um, think we will continue next time. And so we want to thank God for what he has brought to our attention. And uh, uh, we we'll pray that we'll be able to continue, uh, Lord willing, next time, next week, because uh, there's much to learn about keeping God's holy scriptures. And uh, if we know what God's word has already revealed to us, uh, the psalmist uh, wanted to keep it, you know, he wanted to study, he wanted to meditate upon God's word. He wanted to do it so much that uh, uh, he was, uh, you know, very much uh, interested in the word. And before we, do I want to, uh, I think there's a scripture word that I wanted to uh, read because um, just so we will be aware of uh, it. Uh, when the Lord Jesus Christ was uh, challenging those who were challenging him, uh, he gave them a verse in God's word, and it is a verse we are going to also read. And uh, uh, that word is what uh, I want us to remind ourselves of. And you know, and this is John chapter five, and. Uh, All right, and uh, um, okay, I'll just read uh, 5, 37 to 39. 39 is the proof verse that I want to uh, read. Um, it says, John five thirty-seven to 39, And the Father himself, which had sent me, the Lord Jesus Christ, had borne witness of me, Ye have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his ship, 38, and ye have not his word abiding in you. That means talking to the his in you. For whom he had sent him, ye believe not. And verse 39, and the word that I'm trying to get us to see is what we are going to read now. He says, search the scriptures, you see, the Lord Jesus Christ didn't say search the Bible. He said search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. So when the Lord Jesus Christ says, says scriptures, that is uh, what he says, and we should use uh, that in our life to so search the scriptures is the scriptures that he wants them to uh, okay let me do one more and then uh we'll close look and this was also important uh for us and for those who were his uh, followers uh we go to Luke 24, I will also read from, okay, 25 to 27. 27 is what I need, but I just want to add a little. Um, all right, it says, Luke 24, 25 to 27. Then he, the Lord Jesus said unto them, O fools, again, that word, let's be careful because uh, only the Lord Jesus Christ can use that word. We cannot use it on our brothers and sisters and uh, uh, our children or anyone else because uh, I think we've mentioned that before, but we should be careful the words that we use on our children. Never, never should we uh, use such words upon them. And, uh, you know... Uh, we use all these other words. Uh, there's no need, even need for me to use it. You are this, you are that, you are... No. We shouldn't use any of those words from our mouth because when we use those words, you know, it is rather a curse. We are cursing uh, them. And so we should be careful that everything we can, that comes out of our mouth to our children, even though they may be misbehaving and doing all those things, and you know, 
it should never, 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 never be that you are you know, just mm -mm, we don't uh, say those words. All right. So let uh, again. Okay, I want to use uh, Psalm 19. And the words of our mouth and the meditations of our hearts and be acceptable unto uh, you know our children. Everything we so again. Uh, Luke 24, 25 to 27. 25 to 27 says, Then he said unto them, O fools and slow of heart, to believe all that the prophets have spoken. 26. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? You know, he's reminding, calling their attention to it and things that they should have learned and heard and all that. And then verse 25, uh, 27 now. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, and he expounded unto them in all, where? In all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. So it is scriptures why the publishers put Bible, me no know, but uh, it is scriptures, holy scriptures. And so uh, if the Lord Jesus Christ has said it again here, you know, to his uh, followers that, you know, reminding them about this, and he began from Moses. When he says he began from Moses, he is telling them from Genesis and you know, the scriptures, all that Prophet Moses wrote you know, from Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, every all of those, the, uh, Deuteronomy, and all, and the rest of the prophets. You know, he expounded, he explained, he exposed more of God's word to them so that they will be able to understand. And so that's why it says all the scriptures, the things concerning himself. So God's love has been from the beginning and from the beginning he gave us his word so that as we study we are going to get more mileage out of uh, the holy scripture so we thank god again for what he has brought to our attention and continue to pray that uh, we will keep god's holy scriptures in everything that we do and keeping is the same thing as obeying you know, when you keep something, it means that you treasure it, you, 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 you love it so much, you cherish it, and you are keeping it, and you are, you know, cleaning it and polishing it and making sure that uh, you are enjoying all of the uh, blessings from God. So we thank God again. Let us kneel down to pray.